Hello friends, I am Professor Shyam Sharge from Department of Mathematics, SRO Jush Kandil of Sir. This is our 6th lecture on Flame and Petri. In a, in a previous lecture, we have seen the theorems on limit. Now, we see the limit along a path. Limit along a path. Okay. Uh, we have seen in the inner standard if we have if limit as x tends to a plus f of x is not equal to limit as x tends to a minus f of x then, then we say that limit of f of x is non exist non exist at x is equal to it means that if left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit then we say that limit of f of x is not exist at x is equal to similarly in the function of two variable we have if 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 f of x y if f of x y tends to l1 as x y tends to a b by path c1 along a path c1 and and f of x y tends to l2 as x1 tends to a b along a path c2 that is by path c1 we have a limit l1 and by path c2 we have a limit l2 and where l1 is not equal to l2 then then we say that we say that limit at x y tends to a b f of x y is not x. When just came out, limit exists on SD, could lay path nagella, there is limit unique by the there is unique limit mala, there is limit exists on the there is a don't kya don't picture just when you know when you have to have the limit mala, there is limit does not exist because if limit exists then it is unique. Okay, now we see the example. Example one. Limit as x y tends to zero zero x square minus y square upon x square plus. We have to find the limit as x y tends to zero zero x square minus y square upon x square plus y square. Okay. So in this solution, we first define. Limit along x axis. You know that if we are going to limit along x axis, that is the equation of x axis is a y is equal to zero. The equation of x axis is a y is equal to zero. That is y is equal to zero. Then we have Limit as x y tends to zero zero x square minus y square upon x square plus y square is equal to limit as x square plus y square upon x square minus y square is equal. But here y is equal to zero, so we get 
limit as xy tends to 0 0 xy tends to 0 0 x square upon x square is equal to is equal to that is limit as xy tends to 0 0 1 is equal to because limit of constant is constant next one is allow limit allow y axis for finding limit along y axis we have an equation that is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 therefore we have limit as x y tends to 0 0 limit as x y tends to 0 0 x square minus y square upon x square plus y square is equal to here we know that x is equal to 0 therefore we have the value of x is 0 then we get x square x square it is 0 minus y square upon y square is equal to minus 1 ok now limit along x axis is 1 and limit along y axis is minus 1 therefore Therefore, limit as x y tends to 0 0 along x axis along x axis is 1 f of x y is 1 by x axis or along x axis and which is minus 1 that is both limits are not equal both limits are not equal therefore limit as x y tends to 0 0 f of x y means x square minus y square upon x square plus y square is not x because if limit is exists then it is unique here we are finding by x axis if limit along x axis is 1 and limit along y axis is minus 1 therefore both are different limits therefore this limit is not exists now second ok now second example is a show that limit as xy tends to 0 0 solution let f of xy is equal to xy upon x square plus y square and if you have to show that let limit as xy Tends to 0 0 xy upon x square plus y square is not existing. Not x. We have to show that plan not exist. That is, we have to show that this has more than one limit points. That is, more than one limit. So let we have and part y is equal to mx. Y is equal to mx. That is limit as xy tends to 0, 0 along y is equal to mx part. Now y is equal to mx part. We have limit as xy tends to 0 0 x y upon x square plus y square is equal to limit as x tends to 0 limit as x tends to 0 we have x into mx is m into x square upon x square plus m into m square into x square therefore we have limit as x tends to 0 x square is a common x square m upon 
x square in a bracket 1 plus m square that is we have x square x square will cancel in plus x square to 0 here upon 1 plus m square here here upon 1 plus m square does not depend on x so we have an answer m upon 1 plus m square Okay, that is the value of unit, it depends on therefore the value of limit the value of limit depends on m. That is the m will be changed, then the limit value is also changed. The m change limit value change therefore it has no unit limit value. That is Therefore, therefore, we plus x y equals to zero zero. The pop x y means x y plus x square plus one square is not existing because the limit value is depend upon the m. If m changes, then the limit value are also change. That is, limit of this function is not it depends on the path. Okay, now next segment. Now, same example limit as limit as xy tends to 1 0, xy tends to 1 0, xy minus y. About x minus one square plus y plus y square. Okay, we have to show this function. So we can take f of x y is equal to x in a bracket. You getting y power y in a bracket x minus one square x minus one bracket square plus y square. You find you find Limit along the path y is equal to y is equal to m x minus one. So x minus one is equal to m along the path x minus one is equal to how about the object I can write limit check I can write therefore as x tends to 0 we have as x tends to 1 y tends to 0 therefore limit as x y tends to 1 0 y x minus 1 is m y y into m y divided by what we have y in the bracket x minus 1 upon x minus 1 bracket square plus y square if you put the value of x minus 1 is m y so we have limit as y tends to 0 y into m y divided by m square y square plus y square here is a limit as y tends to 0 m into y square upon if we get y square common on both the terms we get m square plus 1 y square y square get cancelled and limit as y tends to 0 m upon m square plus 1 is constant so we have m upon m square plus 1 here also here also the limit of the value is depend on m here limit value depends on m limit value here what we depend on and m change can the limit can arrive change in arrive therefore therefore limit x y tends to 1 0 x minus 1 into y upon x minus 1 into y upon x minus 1 bracket square plus y square is not 
exist is not exist because the value of limit value of this function is depend on only on and that is path if we change the path of the y is equal to path of the example then we have another limit okay now next point is a limit using polar coordinate For limit using polar coordinate, we have if r theta are polar coordinates, polar coordinates of of the order pair x y, order pair x y, that is x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin. Theta, x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. Then, then r theta equal to zero. We have because r is the radius of circle, that is r is greater than equal to zero. We have r tends to zero plus as x y tends to zero. ज्यादा एक्स वाई जीरो जीरो आर कुछ टेन्स होना है जीरो प्लस प्लस लिमिट एस एक्स वाई टेन्स टू जीरो जीरो एफ एक्स वाई प्लस लिमिट एस आर टेन्स टू जीरो प्लस आर टेन्स टू जीरो प्लस एफ आर एफ आर That is r cos theta and r sin theta because x is a r cos theta and y is a sin theta. This is also the function of f. Okay. Now, what I am going to say is that r theta has polar coordinate x y theta, and we know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Then r is always positive. Then we have r tends to zero plus if as r tends to zero plus as x y tends to zero zero. Thus, limit as x y tends to zero zero f of x y is equal to limit as r tends to zero plus f of r cos theta comma r sin theta because x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta. Now, let's see the example using polar coordinate. Using polar coordinate, polar coordinate. Find, find the limit. Find the limit. Limit as limit as x y tends to zero zero. Limit as x y tends to zero zero. X two. Plus y cube upon x square plus y square. For finding this, we know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta, and r tends to zero plus as x y tends to zero. So we have limit as x y tends to zero zero. x y tends to zero zero. f of x y is equal to limit as x y tends to zero zero. x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square is equal to limit as we know that as x y tends to zero zero, we have r tends to zero plus r tends to zero plus here. 
is a r cos theta cube that is r cube cos cube theta plus r cube sin cube theta divided by r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta okay now we will take a common from these two terms r cube so we have limit as r tends to 0 plus r tends to 0 plus r cube in a bracket cos q theta plus sin q theta divided by r square in a common cos square theta plus sin square theta we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 and r square and this r cube is cancelled we have only r if we put r is equal to 0 then we have value is 0 therefore limit as x y tends to 0 0 x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square is a 0 I repeat this question that is using for polar coordinate find the limit limit as x y tends to 0 0 x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square for finding this we have polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and r tends to 0 plus as x y tends to 0 Okay, now limit as x y tends to 0 0 above x y is equal to putting the value of above x y and put x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. We have in this equation if you common r cube from this two term and r square from this two term, we have r cube in a bracket cos square theta plus sin square theta and r square in a bracket cos square theta plus sin square theta. Here cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 and r square goes to cancel, we have only a numerator r. So if we take r tends to 0, then r goes to 0, therefore we have an answer.